Hey, it's Cassie from Cassie Director, and in this Cinema Foodie tutorial, I will show you how you can create these awesome Tron balls. I say Tron balls because it's this lightning effect in the middle. So, yeah, it's very easy, so let's get started. First, you go and create a new project, then go to here and create a new theater. I drag it, uh, I would recommend to drag it up, but what I do, I have a plugin called it Drop to Floor and it's dropping to the floor here. Next is to create the material. It's very easy, go to File, New Material. Here you check on Reflection and on Reflection you go to Texture, Fresnel. Then go to Color and change the color to a dark gray and the brightness is okay. Apply that to your ball. So first let's go create a floor. So go to here and go to floor. Now we need the glowing material. So go to file, new material and double click there. And So at color you leave it at uh, white. Choose a very white and then go to luminance and change the luminance to your color you want. I have it already and set the brightness to 200 or 300, whatever you want. And next step is go to edit your sphere. So click on your sphere and click C to make it edible. You get this sign. And click on using polygon tool. And the next step is because we need a ring all around the, the sphere, uh, go to selection, ring selection. Now you can choose anything we want. I will choose the middle, hold on shift, you get this here and next go and I will choose the middle here, top. So the top and the middle part. Always hold on shift. To get the bottom, shut down the floor here. Need to be red. And from the bottom right. So When you have applied that, go back to your move tool and drag the blue material on it. Turn on your floor. The so next step is go to your render settings, choose effect and global illumination. Here you can shut down on the ink irradiates cage cage file the auto save um, because it would save every time when you render it but you don't need it so now we are finished what you have to do is click here render active view it needs a lot of time because it's very yeah so here we have the ball, so that's it. So this is the result. It looks very cool. You can do it with anything you want. And yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and please subscribe. And if you have requests for SMM4D, After Effects or Photoshop tutorials or GIMP, then let them know. Bye.